we are going to talk about leadership and storytelling. I am Alex Lyon, and we're working out of Johnson and Hackman's book on leadership, a communication perspective. I will put links to that book in the description below this video. And we're going to talk all about how, how leaders can use stories to make an impact and do their job better. So let's do it. So the first part about this is just to say that telling stories is one of the primary ways that leaders can shape reality. And if you've ever been around a great storyteller, you know this. I know some people that once they tell you a story, they transport you into a different kind of world that can really shape the way you see your context, the situation around you. It can motivate you, it can inspire you. And great leaders typically are storytellers. Professor Michael Harvey said, leaders frame stories and events to help followers understand the world, themselves, and other groups, as well as to identify or solve problems. So stories have a lot of uses in terms of getting followers to think and look at the world in a certain way, in helpful ways to move forward. So there are some components here that, um, that the book breaks down a little bit more in terms of the ways specifically that stories help followers and leaders accomplish their goals. And there are eight ways. And the first one is that is uh, sparking action. Stories can really spark action. You've probably seen this. And you've seen this in a lot of movies, by the way. There'll be a team and there's, you know, it's halftime in a game and they're exhausted and they're behind. And then the leader comes in and tells a great story about a big victory or something going on. And then the team's like, yeah, we're going to do that. There's all this action in their hearts that they spark. And a great story can do that because you can see yourself as a part of this story and you can relate to it. And then that can get you to kick into gear and take action. Number two, stories are great at communicating who you are. So you literally tell your story as the leader. You tell the story of the organization and there's that identity aspect of it woven in there. And that can be a powerful source for people. Number three, communicating the brand. So this is obviously talking about maybe the history of the organization and stories about what the organization stands for and stories, especially about times where the group or the team of the organization really did something to represent the ideal of who they wanted to be as an organization. So retelling those stories communicates that brand uh, in a powerful way. Number four, transmitting values. So underneath most stories, there's a moral to the story. There's a lesson learned. There's a value. And oftentimes it's the whole reason you're telling the story in the first place. But by telling a story, there's an, an, an embedded value in it that comes out in, in a powerful way and really sinks into listeners' minds and followers' minds much more than saying, we stand for integrity. If you just say it straight, we stand for integrity. People, okay, fine. But if you tell a story that communicates integrity in a visual way, that can be very powerful, much more powerful than just stating it directly. Number five, fostering collaboration. So stories can help bridge, bridge the gap between different groups. It helps us both see ourselves as part of something that's, that's, that's explained or illustrated by the overall story. So it gets us on the same page together. Number six, taming the grapevine. So one of the biggest complaints, according to research and in organizations, is that people, everyday employees and followers and workers, feel like there's not a lot of information coming from the top leaders of the organization. And so what we do as human beings is we start filling it in. We start gossiping and there's like this grapevine thing happening. Oh, did you hear this? I heard that. I don't know. And then we start spinning our own little, our own little reality that fills in that gap. But what a story will do, especially from a leader, is it fills that gap with something meaningful, with something we can grab onto that's memorable. And stories are really helpful in that way. And I, again, much more so, I think, than it's just explaining policies or what's going on in terms of a bunch of facts. Number seven, sharing knowledge. Obviously, whenever we're telling story, we're sharing something with people, we're giving some information via the story. That's the vehicle for that knowledge. And then it transmits it transmits it in a really a powerful way. And one of the reasons stories are great at this is they're so much more 
memorable or sticky, as they say, than reading a memo or an email or looking at the bulletin board. Stories are so memorable, in fact. I'll bet you you have heard stories and you remember the story, but you're not you're not remembering who told you the story because stories will be very memorable and they're a helpful way to share knowledge. And number eight, stories are great at leading people into the future. There's something inspirational about stories. In fact, there's a concept called transportation. A story can transport you into the world of the narrative, as they say, and they can be incredibly inspiring and motivating much more than almost any other way of communicating. So there's a natural connection between storytelling and leadership that great leaders know, and these eight uh, benefits or ways that stories help you to accomplish their goals are really powerful. So question of the day, what do you find most interesting about stories, especially from leaders? Maybe you remember a leader who's a great storyteller, or maybe you want to work on stories yourself. I would love to hear your thoughts of any kind in that section below about how you think stories and leadership go together. And I look forward to reading those comments. I will see you soon.